Add it to our cartoons with John Mark. Hey, today we're going to do this cute little cartoon tree with a face and some apples to add to it. All right, let's begin this fun lesson. And I'm going to be sketching with my blue mechanical pencil, as you'll be seeing. I'm quickly just sketching the top of the tree where the leaves are kind of be um, indication. But I'm also treating it as if it was hair. That's what I'm thinking about, because this tree is going to have a little face. I'm just whipping out really uh, some fast strokes, as you can see, and the lines. This has no thumbnails prior to doing this lesson, meaning sometimes what I'll do with some of my lessons, I'll sketch them out and get the first uh, thought out and then come back and follow, do a lesson. This one is just straight on, just starting raw, like not knowing what I'm looking at and just using my total imagination and just free form of creativity. So in saying that, you'll notice the strokes are quick and just really just try to get the feel of uh, my thoughts out randomly as I go. And this lesson I've done many times in the past. I enjoy doing trees with faces. Uh, one lesson I did is I had one face and I randomly changed a whole bunch of different faces on there and just experimenting and sharing how you can be really creative with that. So this lesson, once again, totally be creative, use your style, learn how to use your imagination. And when you're building this tree, what do you see in its uh, environment, the season, or maybe some flowers, okay? Maybe a house and some mountains in the background. Maybe a birdhouse is on the tree. Uh, you can go on and on definitely uh, and come back to this one. Like this could have been a first shot and then I could come back and totally add some of those other additional thoughts I just shared with you currently right now. This is pretty much a really raw file that it's like step one really quick. And as you can see here that that the top of the, uh, the tree where it's mostly leaves, I'm kind of playing up with leaves but making it look like it's meaning it's like summertime with the leaves, but I'm kind of making it kind of feel like hair actually. All right, now I'm coming back and I'm going a little slower as you notice now, and I'm going to be taking a little bit more time and doing some details and uh, shadowing. And I'm, I'm still working right now. I'm trying to figure out where things are actually going to apply and work out. So I don't have a, a final assessment of exactly where this is going to come out to be until this video is complete. And yes, so you know, sometimes what I've done in the past, I like to show uh, like the tree uh, veins in there, kind of like the, the textures in there. I've had uh, vines growing on the outside. And this time I'm just going to, that's like the bark, the, the root of the tree all down here. I love those gnarly trees. I, the roots go straight out. All right. And uh, I can even add some moss on there too. Here's more of a, a pattern right there, like the, the shape of the uh, the texture. All right, and let's get that. some. Uh, all right, they're that looking good. All right, looking really good right now. And I'm adding a little shading around the branches to give the curvature, some little more grass here and there. And then the bottom over here, the rocks over here quickly. As you can see, I'm just adding some shading and some textures as they look. All right, and coming back to the far side, I more some grass. And once again, that that root growing out of a tree. Here's a really great uh, tip, once again. You may not know exactly what a tree looks like. You might not be in an area that has many trees. But if you are so fortunate that you can go outside and do some sketching, that's awesome. And if not, of course, you can get some books in a library or through the internet and do some research of how trees actually look. Some go straight down, but I like these old trees that have their gnarly roots uh, coming up on the sides as you can see here all right and on the top here again the branches are just randomly trying to give like a, a structure this is pretty much like a squat little type of a tree due to the the orientation of the actual uh, paper which is landscape not portrait but even so I would still probably like that text technique looking kind of looks like the little uh, little dwarf tree, not so tall. But then again, you could easily do that using your imagination. All right, and then here's some more veins in the tree. There, I like that little texturing in there on the side, little adding some more shading on there. All right, the little, you know, what else can I do? Okay, on the back side there. Okay, let's work on this branch over here a little bit more, get some more definition. And as you can see when you're playing with it, even this branch kind of represents possibly like a little arm on the edge 
and everything. That's looking good. I like that. Yeah, and just shade that in because it's a little underneath the tree. And this one here is on the other side too, like another hand. I'm just going to shade that in really quick. All right, that little branch is coming on this side there. A little heavier that one. Yeah, I'm just going to shade this a little on the other side there as well. I'm just like a horizon line. All right, let's work on the little hairdo slash leaves area. We kind of give it a, like a little fluff in there. You know, that would be really funny if it was like a lady tree. Put a little bonnet on there or a bow tie on the tree. If it was a guy, like it has like a... Um, a bow. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun. That'd be another fun lesson, just to dress up your tree, actually. Okay, now I'm just giving that little uh, shape underneath there when I'm shading right now. So that kind of gives you that feel of roundness and, and um, uh, a lot of uh, movement on there. All right, that on there a little bit on the back side there. All right, you know what? Let's add some apples, as you can see right now. All right, and I'm just going to randomly place them like above the tree, like they're sticking outside the, the branches and leaves. You may want to uh, use your imagination and have like, maybe this could be like a, uh, a multi-fruit tree. So it could have bananas, oranges, uh, apples, and uh, hey, use your imagination. Even though it's not like a banana tree would look like, um, but you could have fun with that. It could be a candy tree. And in that case, it could be an ice cream tree where you can have, actually have ice cream cones growing out of it. Now, that would be a fun one. All right. And a little bit on the side there, some branches and some leaves coming through, randomly placing them throughout the, the tree, uh, having some coming around the back side of the, the branches on the side there. You can see I did on the far right. And this one here, just touching one another, angling them a little differently placing them all throughout the, the sides of the tree there. Okay, one underneath here on the bottom, different shapes, different sizes, you can have that, but I'm keeping them pretty much standard. Let's add another one right here next to that one. All right, all right. Another one over here randomly, so it doesn't look like a pattern that I'm creating. And I'm just shading them in really simple and quick. There we go, that's top there. All right, maybe a little, little ones in the back here. So the ones in the back might be a little bit smaller on here. So they're further back, or they could be like very young apples are not fully uh, grown yet. And the ones over here, same thing here on the side here. Okay, that's looking good. I'm liking how this is, a, this is actually a real fun lesson. A cute little character on a tree. And you can even imagine, I didn't think of this, it could have a scarecrow looking at him, smiling back. It could, there could be, um, uh, like a bird flying and uh, smiling at him. He could be, uh, a beehive could be hanging from the branches and a whole bunch of bees flying around him too. All right, the side of the background hill there, some more mountains. So as you can see when I'm using the, the sketch in the mountain, so it kind of gives you the distance in the field and some little random grass blades here and there. All right, I like that, how that's looking. Yep, yep, little shading underneath there on the bottom, just to give some different textures more depth all right and as we get to this point here as i always say make sure we sign and date it share with your family and friends and i hope you enjoy today's lesson and have a great day